Hi everyone, it's Eric from ecopman12.blogspot.com bringing you my unboxing and first look at the HP Pavilion 15 N256 SA touch smart laptop. A big thanks must go over to HP for sending me this over to review and I am really excited for this laptop because this is running Windows version 8.1 and I have not even tried Windows 8 yet so I'm really looking forward to actually giving that a go. So let's get to the unboxing but before we do let's just take a look at some of the specifications listed at the side of the box. Okay, so this laptop sports a 15 inch display, it's a bright view LED display, 750GB hard drive, 8GB of RAM, DVD optical drive, it's got a Intel Core 4th generation processor, NVIDIA GeForce graphics and Windows version 8.1. So, let's actually get into the unboxing. Okay, now just for ease, I've already cut the tape at the top of the box, so now we'll be able to get straight into the unboxing. So, let's start off with this compartment right over here which I don't think you can see on camera very well but we'll start off with this this is what looks like a battery so we'll put that off to one side and then we've got the three pin plug and this bit goes into the laptop it will charge the battery nothing inside that compartment so, looks like we're straight into the laptop. And, uh, now, something else that actually came out with this laptop when I actually took it out of the box was a set of instructions from, H from HP and also a Windows Basics guide, which I doubt I'll need because I've been using Windows for a very long time, but it's good that they include that in the box. So, Let's change the camera angle and take a look at the HP Pavilion. Okay, so let's take these two off. And here is the laptop, and it's not as heavy as I thought. So let's just take it out. And here it is, and this looks like it's got a whole bunch of protective wrapper on it, so let's... I hope you can see that, let's get that in shot. Yeah, that's nice, and, hmm, first impressions are quite nice, but we'll get to my first impressions in a sec. Let's see if there's anything else I need to peel off. Nope, that's it. So, here is the laptop itself, and I've got to say, first impressions, the build quality is magnificent. I mean, this is freezing cold, so that means that this is obviously uh, metal, and it's quite a bit thinner than I thought. Okay, so let's take a look around the laptop. So, over here, we've got a looks like the charging socket to charge this, that looks like a Kensington lock. This is a port I have not really made out what it is, but most likely it's probably a connection for a modem or something. Here is a vent for some heat to dissipate when the fans are running. Over here we've got a HDMI out, which is very good. A couple of USB sockets, they should be USB 3. And we've also got an SD card slot, which is very, very nice to see. On the other side, not too much because this actually houses the uh, sort of like a CD, a CD or DVD drive and there's a button which I'll, will actually open up the drive and over here we have got a couple of LED indicators to indicate when the power's on and when it's charging and that is a headphone jack and another USB socket which is again very very nice to see so before I actually power on the laptop what I need to do is put in the battery uh, this is actually quite a thin battery, normally these tend to be quite a bit bigger Okay, the battery's in. Now let's move this down and open up the laptop. And below here we've got this little protective film which we normally stick on the screen. Okay, so here we are. Ooh, wow, this actually looks very nice indeed. I mean, the pictures I've seen of this, they sort of made the trackpad look really quite small and stuff. Let's have a look, we've got a little plastic wrapper on the... Uh, laptop, uh, nicely packaged this is, and looks like we've got another bit of plastic going around the screen. So, a lot of plastic tape, but uh, yeah, that looks really nice. So let's take a look at the keyboard right here, and chiclet style, and I like the way it looks all spaced out. It feels a bit plasticky, but hmm, actually feels quite nice. And looks like we've also got some tape over here. 
And also something I'm very nice, to, uh, very glad to see is this. We've actually got a little number pad right here. Now these normally, I think the trend is now that normally people sort of get keyboards that are that don't include these. But to tell you the truth, I really do miss these. I remember I used to have these, and I used to find these very useful. I used to be much faster using these than I would be using those kind of numbers keys. Let's turn the laptop on. Okay, sorry for the jump cut there, but that took uh, about a couple minutes to sort of set up. And let's see. We'll select next. Mm, the buttons. The left right click on the trackpad seems really quite nice. I accept. I'll put in my name. And this will give me a chance to test the keyboard out. Now, I can normally type better than this, but I'm behind the camcorder right now. And I'm behind a tripod as well, which is sort of getting in my way. And now I'll put my email address in, and then I'll be right back with you. Okay, so here we are. And now it's just letting you personalize the computer. This looks like the Windows 8 setup. So I'll put in my PC name, which will be Eric. Okay, it looks like it started up. And that took about five minutes to set up. And I did have to skip bits of the video in order to do that. But here we go. We look like we're actually into uh, the Windows 8. And it looks very, very good. I'm going to use the trackpad here and see scroll about. And, yeah, Windows 8 isn't really designed to be used like this, is it? This feels like you just want to reach out and touch the screen. Well, for those of you that purchased this laptop, you're in luck. It doesn't have TouchSmart in its name for nothing, you know. This is, as you can see, a touch screen. So I'm actually touching the screen on the laptop to actually interact with it. So that is going to be very good. So let's say I want to go into Internet Explorer. It's a very responsive touch screen. And let's just. This is my first time using the uh, Windows uh, Windows 8. So, hmm, the resolution is not that great because you know everything. It does seem a bit big on the screen, but the resolution is 1366 by 768. So, uh, yeah, it's not the best of resolutions, but it's still decent enough, and you could easily get used to it. And this actually feels nice. Let's use the trackpad to scroll around. Mm. And uh, when Internet Explorer has uh, gotten better in terms of how smooth it is to scroll around with, but this just feels really quite nice to scroll around with right here. Let's see, can I... Come on, how do you load up the URL thing? Okay, uh... Okay, I'm going to have to figure that out later. If I press this Windows key on the laptop, it'll take me back to the home screen on Windows 8. And this all seems very, very nice. So you've got photos, you've got the store right over here, which is kind of like the Windows Marketplace. So they're going to give you more applications that sort of like run in this kind of Windows Phone sort of style. So let's just scroll around. This is a very responsive touchscreen. It was a bit smudgy when I actually watched, uh, swipe my finger on it at first, but now it seems all very, very smooth. So yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. Definitely stay tuned as I will be doing quite a few more coverage videos of this laptop and of course a full review at the end. But one of the things I'll be doing with this laptop is I'm going to actually do some gaming tests with it. So I'm going to try a low-end game, then I'm going to try a high-end game. And this laptop will cost about £600. So if you want to know how a laptop of this kind of price point performs with gaming, then definitely stay tuned as I will show you how this performs. So, thank you guys very much for watching. This has been Eric from ecommerce12.blogspot.com. Please thumbs up, comment and subscribe, and I'll see all of you next time. Take care.